Multiplication of a polynomial by a polynomial. Multiply each term of one polynomial by the each term of the other polynomial and then combine the like terms. Take the algebraic sum of these products. Multiply 3x power 3 plus 4x power 2 plus 4x minus 5 by 3x power 2 minus 4x plus 1. Now multiply 3x power 2 with each of the each term of the first polynomial. We get 9x power 5 plus 12x power 4 plus 12x power 3 minus 15x power 2. Now multiply 4 minus 4x with each of the term of the polynomials. We get minus 12x power 4 minus 16x power 3 minus 16x power 2 plus 20x. Now multiply 1 with each term of the first polynomial, we get the same answer that is 3x power 3 plus 4x power 2 plus 4x minus 5. When we add this, we get 9x power 5 minus x power 3 minus 27x power 2 plus 24x minus 5. Division of algebraic expressions. If x is a variable and m, n are positive integers, then using the quotient law of exponents, that is, x power m divided by x power n is equal to x power m minus n when m is greater than n and x power m divided by x power n is equal to x power m minus n, which is equal to 1 by x power n minus n with if n is greater than m. For example, if first one, x power 9 divided by x power 4 is equal to x power 9 minus 4, which is equal to x power 3. And second example, x power 2, y power 2 minus x y power 3 is equal to x power 2, y power 4 by x y power 3, which is equal to x power 2 minus 1 y power 4 minus 3 which is equal to x power 1 and y power 1 if a number or a variable has doesn't have a power or has a power 1 it means the number itself that is x y another example x power 7 y power 5 z power 2 divided by x power 9 y power 4 and z power 3 is equal to x power 7 y power 5 z power 2 by x power 9 y power 4 by z power 3 which is equal to x power 9 minus 7 minus 9 y power 5 minus 4 z power 2 minus 3 which is going to be x power minus 2 y plus 1 and 7 power minus 1 which is equal to y plus x power 2 is it and so on division of a monomial by a monomial quotient of two monomials is equal to quotients of the numerical coefficient into coefficient of the literal coefficients that is division of two monomials is equal to division of the numerical coefficients and division of the literal coefficients if a monomial is given mixed with quotients and variables we should divide them into two parts and then multiply them so divide 14 a power 2 b power 2 c power 2 by minus 2 a b c power 2 which is equal to 14 a power 2 b power 2 c power 2 by minus 2 a b c power 2 which is equal to when i divide the numerical values numerical coefficients and literal coefficients when I separate them, I get 14 by minus 4 into a power 2, b power 2, c power 2 by a, b, power, a, b, c power 2, which is equal to minus 7 into a power 2 minus 1, b power 2 minus 1, c power 2 minus 1, 2 minus 2, which is equal to minus 7 a, b, c power 0, which is equal to minus 7 a, b, because if a variable or a coefficient, a variable or a a numerical value has zero as their power it means the number is zero that it doesn't even count as a number so the answer is minus 7 a b division of a polynomial by a monomial divide each term of a polynomial by the monomial and simplify divide 4x power 3 minus 4x power 2 
plus 7x minus 5 by 3 minus 3x power 3. Now, divide the 3 minus 3x power 3 with each of each term of the polynomials. We get 4x power 3 by minus 3x power 3 plus minus 5x power 2 by minus 3x power 3 plus 7x by minus 3x power 3 plus minus 5 by minus 3x power 3 which is equal to minus 4 by 3x power 3 minus 3 plus 5 by 3x power 2 minus 3 minus 7 by 3x power 1 minus 3 plus 5 by 3x power 3 which is going to be minus 4 by 3 x power 0 plus 5 by 3 x power minus 1 minus 7 by 3 x power minus 2 plus 5 by 3 x power 3 which is equal to minus 4 by 3 plus 5 by x 3 x minus 7 by 3 x power 2 plus 5 by 3 x power 3. Division of a polynomial by a polynomial. We know that divisor into quotient plus reminder is equal to dividend. In order to generalize the above results in algebraic division, follow the given steps. Arrange the terms of the dividend and the divisor in the ascending or descending orders of the four the literal coefficients. Divide them of the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient and multiply the divisor by the quotient and up, subtract the product from the dividend. Use reminder as the new dividend. Repeat the steps 2, 3 and 4 till no reminder is left or as required. We can stop the process as soon as the degree of reminder is less than the degree of divisor. Let's divide 2a power 3 plus 5a minus 5a power 2 minus 3 plus 2a minus 3 and verify your answer. The quotient a power 2 minus a plus 1 and reminder is 0. We get this from 2a minus 3 divided by 2a power 3 minus 5a power 2 plus 5a minus 3. Now when we divide it I get 2a power 3 minus 3a power 2 and the quotient is going to be a power 2. Now subtract it and I get minus 2a power 2 plus 5a minus 3. Bring the 5a minus 3 directly down without disturbing anything and now again divide it we get minus 2a power 2 plus 3a. Now subtract this with the remaining and then we get 2a minus 3. Then again put 2a minus 3 which is equal to 0. So the quotient is equal to 2a power 2 minus a plus 1. And reminder is 0. The verification that divisor into quotient plus reminder is equal to dividend. In the left hand side, 2a minus 3, like a power 2 minus a plus 1 plus 0, which is equal to 2a a power 2 minus a plus 1 minus 3 into a power 2 minus a plus 1, which is equal to 2a power 3 minus 2a power 2 plus 2a minus 3a power 2 plus 3a minus 3 which is equal to 2a power 3 minus 5a power 2 plus 5a minus 3 which is equal to dividend is equal to right hand side hence the answer is correct